Well, hello and welcome back to DxO Smart Tips. Smart, smart tutorials, quick tutorials, smart tips, whatever you want to call it. Let's dive into this today. We're going to talk about, once again, local adjustments going into those uh, U points, control points, whatever you want to call them. Let's just take this little toy car right here. And uh, today we're going to uh, add a, a, a control point and we are going to talk about uh, the old good old auto mask. So let's click auto mask and start talking about it. When you look at the uh, auto mask little icon that I'm wiggling around here, you will notice that there are two uh, circles there. You see the small circle with the plus sign and then you see the big circle. If you hold control and go like and roll your mouse, so that was just that pause. I was looking for the control button right there. Hold control and roll your mouse, and you can see that stuff go bigger and, and wider. That way, if you just keep your like index finger on the control and then make your your edits right here with your left finger, you can just kind of do that all at once and do it smoothly. So we're going to go back here, and I'm going to grab the eraser and just kind of erase this stuff really quick. And you can see, once again, I'm going to hit control, and we can make that bigger and just it really quick so let's go back in here and we will grab oops let's go back in here and we'll grab our auto mask let's talk about the auto mask uh, once again the inside circle the inside gray circle that is what you want to worry about that is what needs to be within the lines here this outside feathering area don't so much worry about that. So let's start applying our mask. And it doesn't really matter where that is because you can just deal with all that this time. What we're going to do right now is just make sure that that inside circle just stays within the area of the car. And it, it's kind of a trust issue type of thing because you don't you don't really get to see the results until you uh, until you're done and you and you mess with that thing. So let's just go ahead and fill this in like this. And we'll just and now we'll just go ahead here and uh, see how well it did. And we'll bring down the exposure of the car. And you can see it is just bringing down the exposure of the red in the car where we hit that mask. It didn't have to be pretty. It didn't have to be that even. You can see I went out in areas. And if we bring it up, it only hit the auto mask, basically only hit the areas uh, that that inside little plus area uh, was touching. I'm not saying it's perfect. You can see right up here, there's some areas where you might want to just go get that old eraser and uh, pay attention to your velocity and your flow. So you might, for this kind of stuff, you might want to you can just go in here and kind of fine tune and edit if you want. But you can see right here that uh, the auto mask works quite well. And so we, we can just go ahead and make any adjustments we want while we're here. Uh, we can go ahead and pump some contrast on that. And I will go down here to color and we can pump some, uh, hey, it's red. Let's pump some saturation on that. Give it some vibrance and just completely soup up our car with just one control filter. And that is the beauty of DXO. See you next time, guys.